You may have seen the ads on bus shelters and billboards across Greater Victoria. Using just one word to describe the homeless situation in our city, the word unacceptable. But is the ad campaign working? Here's V. Cooper. I did the wife and kids and all that, and then I got injured drywalling. A severe back injury, then a knee, then a shoulder. In chronic pain after numerous surgeries, Howard Leeson's doctor tried various medications. Then he switched me up to morphine, and then he retired, and then the doctor that took over for him just cut me off cold turkey. And Leeson's life unraveled. He headed to the streets to buy morphine, which led to heroin. Couldn't pay the rent. I lived in my car for a while. Which led to seven years living on the streets. So you'll quite often, more often than you suspect, find families, young families, living in a vehicle like this. The Greater Victoria Coalition to End Homelessness wants us to find this unacceptable. This vehicle is a movable ad campaign to raise awareness of the three basic needs. Build more supportive housing, which is housing for people who have challenges living on their own. We need more affordable housing, which is just basic housing that is low cost that people can afford to live in when their incomes aren't particularly high. And then the third piece is prevention, just uh, trying to prevent people from falling into homelessness. Created in 2008, the coalition is a partnership of agencies, nonprofits, the business community, and various levels of government. In 2008, homelessness was increasing at about 30% per year in Greater Victoria. That was kind of the projections. Uh, it's flattened now. And is estimated at about 1,500. We've built uh, several hundred units in the past couple of years, and that's made a real difference. And has the Unacceptable campaign, launched February 13th, raised awareness? We've had huge response. So our own social media channels are up in the hundreds of percent as a result of this campaign. If people tweet to our uh, hashtag unacceptable YYJ, we will then follow that up and retweet to MLA candidates. The coalition plans to keep pressure on the politicians until Election Day to find homes for those like Leeson, now drug-free and in low-cost housing since 2006. We help other countries. Why not help ourselves? We can end homelessness. That's the message. This check program is brought to you in part by Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.